Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in our testing with Spring Boot tutorial series. In this video we are going to be talking about differences in between the mocks and the spice. So we are going to explain what mocks are and we are going to explain what spice are. And before we do that I want to show you a way how you can verify how many times a certain method has been called. So keep in mind that this verification can only be done on a mock or on a spy. So the check that we are going to do is the one, for example, you see here in this uh, test get user infos, we have user service get user infos method call. And if we jump to it, we can see that inside of here, we called user info service get user info, so with some user ID. And we're basically uh, iterating to some IDs that we pass in and we are just mapping it and filtering and doing all nice stuff. So what we can do there, since um, this user info service is a mock, we can verify how many times this is called. In our case, we are passing in two IDs, so we expect two uh, method calls. So let's do that check really fast. Um, let's put it somewhere on the end. So what we type here is um, mockito.verify and then you pass in a mock or a spy. So the mock is a user info service. And now what you can do is also um, kito.times. So basically this is how many times do you expect this method to be called? So it's two. And which method it is, is at the end. So get user infos and now the user ID, um, we can just type here any string. In one of the next videos, I'm going to show you how you can actually verify what uh, has been passed here. So how you can capture this argument. But for now, let's just put any string. So as you can see, it's uh, quite simple. We are saying that we want to verify that this mock um, has been called. So its method here has been called two times. We can add a static input on Kito here and we can run our test and hopefully it passes because um, our method should be called two times. Yeah, so it passed, perfect. Now, the reason I showed you this is uh, when explaining the difference in between mock and a spy, um, one of the main things um, I, I like to mention there is that mocks basically provide you this kind of uh, verification. So you can do these verifications on mocks, but you can also do them on spies. Now, a mock is just a bare bone instance of a class. So it doesn't contain any method calls or anything. You have to mock everything. So you can see that here on the top where we mock uh, this get user info uh, call. And on the spy, it's an actual instance of a service. So you would create an instance of this user info service in our case, and you would spy on it. And spying on it means that you can still do the verifications like this. So Mokito allows you that, which is super great. And for example, on this instance here, because it's uh, not a spy, it's not a mock, you can't do that. So Mokito can't do that. So for now, let's uh, create a spy of the user info service. And uh, let's see how we can um, yeah, do some verifications on it. The first thing that we want to do is we want to rename this one from user info service to user info service mock. And we want to rename this user service to user service with mock. Uh, I'm doing this because we are going to create another instance of this user service uh, with spy basically. So let's uh, duplicate this, uh, let's put the spy here and uh, let's duplicate this one and let's put the spy here. So we have a user service with mock and user service with spy and we have two, uh, so user info service, one is a mock and the other one is a spy. The mock is created this way and the spy, so I can duplicate this, is created spy and here we actually create a new instance of this user info service. So this is an actual service and the actual calls are being made. Great. Now what we want to do is we want to change this here. Uh, this is, I'm changing this so just so that we can see the difference in the calls. Um, basically the, the user provider helper is the same call that you do in the actual user info service. So we want to change that. So this returns, um, what does it return? Let me just see, user info detail. So let's create here new user user info detail and uh, let's put one let's put a and let's put an n here so um let's detail 
and uh, let's return this here. So what happening, what's happening here is that whoever calls this method will always get the same response. So regardless what you call with any string, you will always get just this detail. So it's uh, always the same response. Okay, so now that we have uh, this sorted, let's see what happens with our test. Um, the only test that's affected by this is basically this one here. And here you can see that we are making this call with some ID here. But as I explained, it doesn't matter anymore. So our test will still pass, but it doesn't matter which ID we call it with. Um, this one here is um, the one that's um, being filtered out in our test. And everything else, whatever ID is, um, can pass through. So if we actually, uh, wait, did I jump? So if I go back, if I, um, rem we can remove this and here we can put anything and we can run our test again and it should pass because our mock now just expects whatever ID except this one and it still passes. Great. So um, I can rename this one. So we have it with mock. Now let's see how we can do this with the spy. So if I go here and put this here with spy. Now, like, let me just remove this with spy, get user infos, uh, user info service spy. And let me run this and see what happens. So, our test should now fail because this ID does not exist. And you can see here, uh, no pointer exception actually, ooh, something different. Use a service test, 154. Um, ah, yeah, we forgot to initiate this one, initialize it. So uh, let's do this really fast with spy and here with spy. And that should be it. So we need to create a new instance of this with spy service and uh, rerun our test. And hopefully now it fails, but with the reason that you expect it with. Yes, so expected size one, but was zero. So um, you can see that here, if we jump here, um, we need this again, what we had up there. So I can just copy it from here. Uh, basically we need this, yeah, so I can put that here and I can again uh, with spy and I can again put this one here. Now if I run it, this should pass. Now what we're doing because we are having an actual call and yeah, as you can see our test passes, which is super great. So hopefully uh, all of our other tests are still passing. Let's really just run through them and see what happens and let me get to remove all the inputs. Yeah, perfect. So let me recap what we did. We created our mock as we did before. So you, we have a user service with the mock here and we have the user info service mock, which is just a mock. And we have our user service with a spy, which is an actual instance of this service with a spy. So a user info service spy, which is again a spy of the actual instance of the user info service. So not a mocked one. And for the mock, we are mocking one of the get user info method. So this do answer. And with the spy, um, we are not doing anything special. So with the spy, it's actually calling the real methods behind it. So if you jump to the using info service, this method here is called, this an actual method is called, it's not calling any mocks like uh, the one that we have here. And then the difference we did in the tests is in our info with mock, we can call now with basically any IDs. The only one that's important is this one here. And this one here is important because we have made it in our mock. We mocked it like that, that this one gets ignored so that we can verify that the filtering works. So we are still doing the check that um, even if uh, our method, our mocked method returns now in a certain case, it's still um, called and we can check it here. So we're doing the verification here and we're also verifying the size here. But with the spy, we are making a call to an actual method. So we are actually calling the real implementation, not the mocked one and um, we are doing the verification again. So we are demonstrating that you can do, do the verification with the spy. 
And yeah, that's it. So that's actually a difference in between a mock and a spy. And hopefully this was clear enough for you. And if you have any questions, if something wasn't clear, uh, please do let me know and I will try to explain it. And as if, as if I mentioned it, um, in the next videos, we are going to take a look at how we can uh, do these verifications more nicely. So we're going to um, dive a bit deeper in the verifications. So yeah, that's everything for this video and I will see you in the next one.